Maji kutoka chumba cha habari hadi katika wizara ambayo wengi wanadhania ni chaka la simba, chaka la nyati, wizara ambayo wengi wanadhania kuwa imejaa mapapa na makateli ya kila aina. Farida Karonei baada ya kuhudumu katika vyumba vya habari, sasa ndiye waziri wa ardhi wizara ambayo bila shaka wengi wanayogopa na kuiangalia kwa jicho la mbali. Lakini hata hivyo wamekuwa ni waziri wa kwanza kuifikisha wizara hiyo katika kilele cha ufanisi baada ya kuzindua mfumo mpya unaofahamika kama ardhi sasa mfumo ambao serikali inaamini na kuitakidi kwamba itamaliza kabisa ukora na ukiritimba katika sekta ya ardhi humu nchini waziri Farida karibu sana Asante ni vigumu sana kuhoji bosi wako wa zamani wakati mwingi <laughs> ukiniangalia moja kwa moja na hisi kama unataka kuniambia hizo intro ni ndefu sana <laughs> Kwanza studio ni joto hapo sasa <laughs> Pengine kwa kuanza tu waziri nini hasa kimechochea nyinyi kuanza huu mfumo mpya nini kilikupelekea kukaa na kufikiria mfumo mpya wa ardhi sasa na hii ardhi sasa ni nini Salim siku kaa na kufikiria. Ukiteuliwa kama waziri, unajua wewe ni kama una unasulisha una programs ya mheshimiwa rais. Sasa mheshimiwa rais kwa hii msimu wa pili, hii second term, alikusudia kufanya mambo mawili. Mm -hmm. Kwanza ni kusajili mashamba. Kenya usajili wa mashamba bado iko chini kiasi. Mm -hmm. Manake 70% asilimia sabini ya Kenya mm -hmm. bado haijasajiliwa. So mheshimiwa rais alipoingia ofisini akakusudia kusajili mashamba Kenya na kwa plan yetu strategic plan tumekusudia kumaliza huo usajili by 2024 so hiyo ikakuwa program ya kwanza program ya pili ya mheshimiwa rais mm -hmm. ilikuwa sasa ukisha sajili haya mashamba kusecure how do you secure ikabidi sasa tuanze program ya digitalization yani kuweka marekodi zetu kwenye mtandao mm -hmm. kwa nini tuliamua kufanya vile nafikiri kama wewe ni mkenya ama unaishi Kenya unafahamu shida ama masuala mengi ya, ya, ya makero mengi mm -hmm. katika sekta ya, 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 ya ardhi mm -hmm. manake ni kwamba kuna utapeli kuna ukora kuna mambo mengi wakenya wamepitia machungu sana kwa wengi wengi, sana. wengi 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 kabisa sasa so, wakenya wenzetu wamepitia machungu me, miaka kawa, karibu sitini. ndio hasa mheshimiwa rais akasema lazima tukomeshe ha hii ukora kwa mashamba utapeli sometimes hata ujui shamba ni ya nani akasema tutafanya vipi ili tuweze ku, ku, kuhakikisha shamba zetu ziko ziko secure yani ziko safe sasa tukasema tu, tuziweke kwenye mtandao ndio sasa ardhi sasa manake ni mm -hmm. unafanya transactions ya mashamba sasa hivi hapa hapa hauwezi mm -hmm. kuja pale ministry of lands pale wizara ya ardhi kutafuta suluhisho hapana unakaa nyumbani kwa simu yako hata sahi, sale mkiingia kwa, kwa simu yako mm -hmm. ukilog in ardhi sasa utaiona hiyo platform mm -hmm. so tunasema services zetu za serikali ministry of lands ziko hapa hapa mkononi ama kwa computer inakuwa kama vile ile teams ya NTSA ambao unaweza ukauza gari ukanua gari sasa. bila hata ku Haku, hata uhitaji ku, kuongea na mtu yote mm -hmm. makateli mabroka kuna haja hiyo maneno sasa unakaa tu kwa nyumba yako kwa computer ama kwa simu unaingia kwa platform una register unajisajili mm -hmm. kisha unaanza programs yako ya, ya, ku, ya kuendelea na kazi ya shamba lakini pamoja na hayo waziri kuna kile ambacho kimekuwa kijitokeza kama double titling mm -hmm. unakuta ardhi moja ina title kama saba na zote ni genuine yeah. zote zimetoka katika wizara ya afya au wizara ya ardhi kwa yeah. sasa hii system itagundua ni, ni nani hasa mmiliki halali si kweli salim kusema zote ni, ni genuine maana shamba ni moja title deed genuine hati miliki itakuwa ni moja tu ni kweli kuna double allocation double titling mm -hmm. yani shamba moja iko na vieti vya kumiliki zaidi ya moja mm -hmm. hiyo ni kweli lakini hizo mbili moja si moja ni gushi. Maana kiwezi kuzajili shamba moja mara mbili. Shamba inasajiliwa mara moja. Lakini kwa sababu ya mambo niliyasema, ukora, utapeli, bakateli, ndio haya sasa mambo ya double title. Sasa kwa hii mtandao vile tumefanya. Tumeanza na Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Record zote za Nairobi, data ya Nairobi yote tumepiga msasa kabisa. Mm -hmm. Tukakutanisha tuka uh, title records kadhaa ya usurveyor, ya registration ya correspondence hapo kwa ministries zote ziko pamoja mm -hmm. ni kumaanisha kama shamba ni yako sali nitaangalia survey plan yako map yako ya usurveya niangalie niangalie deed plan yako nione iko sawa niangalie registration document nione iko sawa mm -hmm. niangalie document ile ya mipango tekelezi planning mm -hmm. iko, sa iko sawa sawa niangalie evaluation document zote zikishikamana tunasema hiyo shamba ni ya sali ukikuta kuna titles mbili moja utakuta wamechukua shortcut njia ya mkato wamepitia njia ya mkato kupata hiyo title deed hiyo hatimiliki mm -hmm. atakosa document moja hapo 
ndio maana tukitengeneza hii hii platform yetu tukasema mm. tunaangalia vitu vitatu mm -hmm. information hiyo kwa hiyo hiyo file mm -hmm. iko complete iko kamili ni kweli tuna tick iko na integrity kweli tuna tick iko accurate tuna tick mm -hmm. sanifu so tukiwa document yako document zako zote za shamba zikiwa accurate complete na na, na, na iko na integrity mm -hmm. tunasema basi shamba ni asali ikiwa sivyo tunaweka kando mm -hmm. na tumefanya hivyo kwa shamba zote za Nairobi there about uh, maybe 250000 mm -hmm. kuna wale ambao wali walinunua ardhi yeah. kwa njia ya halali wakatoa pesa zao mm -hmm. lakini kwa bahati mbaya wakawa waliwauzia walikuwa na ukora fulani mm -hmm. watu kama hao mnawasaidia vipi sasa unajua Salim wa Kenya wengi wametapeliwa mm -hmm. mtu anakuuzia shamba unafikiri umenunua shamba kumbe umenunua hewa sasa hii program tumeanza tunatoa ile title gushi tunaweka kando mm -hmm. title ile halali tunaweka kando zile halali tutaziweka kwa huu mtandao zile gushi tunaziweka kando tunatafuta tuna, tuna timu nyingine kuchunguza kulienda vipi mm -hmm. nini ilifanyika tutatafuta ESC DCI na mawakili wakae wachunguzi wapige msasa hizo record hizo ma, ma, ma title gushi mm -hmm. watuambie tufanye nini mm -hmm. manake lazima tufuate sheria hata kama ni gushi kweli mm -hmm. hatuwezi tukusema ni gushi tupilia mbali mm -hmm. lazima sheria ifuatwe kuna zingine pia documents ambazo hazitakuwa kwa mtandao mm -hmm. ni kama vile uko na cheti lakini shamba yenyewe ni ya umma mm. you have a title to public land na utanisamea kidogo na changanya msamia tangu kidogo ni hanifu kidogo lakini improve lakini si mbaya chunga chunga usiamke kigudaji siwezi kuanguka so tu, tunaweka kando hizo fake mm -hmm. na zile za sawa tunaweka kwa mtandao ikiwa shamba yako iko kwa, kwa mtandao mm -hmm. uko free unaweza fanya shughuli zako zote sh za shamba pale mtandao mm -hmm. kama iko gushi tunaziweka kando So eh, kama uko na cheti ya public land hiyo iko gushi iko kando mm -hmm. kwa sasa tutaweka kwa mtandao kuna zingine pia tunaziita sectional properties yani mm -hmm. apartments mm -hmm. hizo zilisajiliwa na sheria ambayo haikufaa tulitumia sheria inaitwa registration of documents act kwa kawaida tunafaa kutumia sectional properties act mm -hmm. lakini kwa vile kwa vile haikuwa makosa ya washikadao haikuwa makosa ya land owners ilikuwa mm -hmm. makosa ya serikali sasa tunasema serikali yenyewe itagaramia mm -hmm. hiyo program ya kurekebisha mm -hmm. makosa hayo itachukua time eh, yeah. hii hi program hii mm -hmm. ardhi sasa ina tofauti gani hii digitalization ambayo imefanyika yeah. ina tofauti gani na ile ilikuwa inafanywa na waziri wa huko nyuma mheshimiwa mama Ngilo hapo awali serikali ilifanya kweli ili tulijaribu na baadaye tulianza mwaka wa 1995 hiyo ni miaka kama 26 years 26 miaka mm -hmm. Lakini vile tulikuwa tunafanya hatukufanya vilivyotakana kufanywa. Mm -hmm. Manake tume digitize title document hatimiliki. Mm -hmm. Hiyo ni end product ya registration. Registration ni process. Mm -hmm. Unaanza kwanza una plan, una, mm -hmm. unafanya mipangilio ya hiyo shamba. Mm -hmm. Ukishafanya mpangilio unafanya usurvey, una survey. Ukisha survey sasa unaweka correspondences pamoja mm -hmm. ili upate title title deed pale mwisho. Mm -hmm. Sasa mama Ngilo na waz, mawaziri wenzangu walipopi wali, wali, wali wapo awali mm -hmm. wali, walianza na mwisho. Wali, wali, regis, wali digitize the title document. Unaona hiyo ni, ni end process. Uh -huh. Ni end product. Sasa huku survey ilikuwa bado manual. Uh -huh. Physical planning iko manual. The, the land administration yote iko manual. Sasa title pekee yake ndio iko digital. Uh -huh. Sasa unaona bado haungeweza kuwamaliza ku, ku, watapeli. Nakumbuka yeah. tulikuwa na wewe katika yeah. chumba cha habari mwaka 2017 mm -hmm. kabla ya kuteuliwa na kulikuwa na baada ya uchaguzi tukasikia watu wafungue server inaonekana mm -hmm. server zime, zime, zimedukuliwa zimekuwa hacked. Una hakika gani unadhamana gani kwa Kenya kwamba hii system yako ya ardhi sasa haita haitakuwa hacked? Sale. Unajua kama ingekuwa ikwe hacked ingekuwa imekuwa hacked now sasa ni siku ya nane sio mheshimiwa rais alizindua last week tuesday mm -hmm. leo ni jumatatu wale watapeli wako pale ni wengi wangependa sana kuhaki system lakini hawajafaulu natumai wanajaribu lakini hawajafaulu kwa nini hawajafaulu tukitengeza hii platform by the way platform imetengezwa 100% na wakenya vijana wachanga wakenya kama yule pale iko pale mm -hmm. studio ni background Ndiyo. young people young kenyans hati inamilikiwa 100% asilimia mia na serikali. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini tulifanya hivyo? Manake challenges zetu za mashamba hapa Kenya they are very unique. Sisi si kama nchi zingine. Mm -hmm. Ukora yetu ya mashamba ni unique. Sasa ilibidi tutafute suluhu ambaye inaweza kutatua hiyo problem yetu ambaye ni unique. Mm -hmm. Tumefanya tumefanya nini? Tume, tumetumia team multi agency. Wizara ya ardhi, Wizara ya interior, mm -hmm. sekta mbalimbali security experts wa, wa cyber mm. kuswidi 
tu, tu secure kwanza platform mm -hmm. kabla hatujajenga. Mm -hmm. Manake platform nyingi ile unanunua kutoka nchi zingine, unaletewa platform. Alafu unaambiwa sasa how do you secure? Lakini tumefanya the opposite. Tumefikiria what are the security risks? Mm -hmm. Au watapeli ambao wako kwa manual space, wakiingia kwa computer watafanya nini? Tukazi, tukafikiria programs ya kusecure kabisa. Uh -huh. So the security system iko inbuilt kwa, kwa, kwa mtandao. Kwa hiyo na wa Kenya kwa mba kufanya biyashara zao katika mitandao yao, katika ah, mbali kwao, wasi wasi. kwa kitumia ardhi, sasa bila wasi wasi. Bila wasi wasi. Uh -huh. Ni kama bila unaika pesa yako kwa banki, yes, Ali. Ndiyo. Si unaenda kulala, unajua pesa yako iko sawa. Hii una... yetu ni secure kushinda hiyo banking Uliko system. Uliko banki. Kabisa. Unadhani waziri, hayo magengi ya bau meazungumzia katika sector ya ardhi, ni na ufisadi hata wandani wa, wa katika wizara mm -hmm. ni tishio kubwa katika wewe kufikia mafanikio makubwa hata zaidi kuliko hata ardhi sasa pengine na mipango mingine huko mbele unajua Salim hii program si program ya Farida ni program ya serikali ya Kenya mm -hmm. sisi kama serikali tukiongezwa na tukiongozwa na mheshimiwa rais tulika tukasema ukora na utapeti katika sekta ya ardhi mm -hmm. imezidi lazima tuikomeshe manake hapo tumefika inatishia hata maisha ya wakenya wenzetu manake watu wanapigana wanawana kwa sababu ya shamba kuna wakati unafanya audit na unakuta ah kwa bahati mbaya tatizo kwanza ni hapa kwangu ndani ni kweli unajua ukora ama utapeli salim haiwezi kufanyika kama mfanyikazi wa serikali ya jakubali ifanyike ukiregister titles mbili hati miliki mbili unajua yote iko na sehemu ya serikali sio kumaanisha ofisa wa serikali ameweka sahihi kwa kitu gushi. So ni kweli utapeli ni ama ukora katika sekta yetu ya, ya ardhi. Inawa inawashikadao wengi. Kuna maafisa wa serikali, kuna watu huko mabroka huko nje makateli, kuna watu wengi wengi. Mm -hmm. So ni lazima tuji, tu, tujiangalie kwanza tujipige msasa sisi wenyewe. Shida mm -hmm. iko wapi? Mm -hmm. Tufanye nini? Na hii ardhi sasa mm -hmm. is the solution. Kwa nini niseme hivyo? Manake tunatoa human processes. Mm -hmm. We are removing human interaction at all. Ukiwa kwako nyumbani, si lazima unipigie mimi farida. Mm -hmm. Unakaa, una, unajisajili kwa mtandao, mm -hmm. unaendelea na shuguli zaku. Hapo, ata afisa wa serikali, akibadili document yoyote. Kuna audit trail. Tutajua farida, alibadilisha shamba ya salim, saa tano, jumatano, sarengapi, mwaka gani. Kwa hiyo, wakenya so, so wawe na imani na, na mtanda huu. Yeah. Yeah. Toka tupate mapumziku mafupi, tukiruju tuna maswali yeah. kutoka kwa wakenya moja kwa moja. Mm -hmm. Usikia maduku duku yao, alafu baadhi ya leba utawazo kuyajibu, utayajibu katika kipindi hiki cha kigoda chako. Mpenzi mtazamaji kama nje unajiunga nasi, unatazama kigoda chako, ndani ya NTV Gioni siku ya jumatatu. Tunapata mapumziku mafupi, wawo usiondoke hapo lipo, tukiruju ni mengi zaidi. I do a lot to make my performance top notch. Starting with my tires, followed by mobility exercises. At 6 a.m., I start my run. I do this every day to become my best. Choose performance like Elliot Kipchoge. Total Lubricant, now in an innovative design to offer optimal performance and protection for your engine. Weka Kolabo na Shell, Shinda Fuso FI is back and bigger. Every time you visit Shell and Weka a Kolabo of Shell Fuels plus Shell Lubricants, Africa's Oshopata convenience stores, you stand a chance to drive off with one of five border borders are full grabs. What's more, one lucky winner will drive off with a brand new Mitsubishi L200 double cab in four weeks and stand a chance to win the grand prize of a Fuso FI with two-year warranty and 5.5 kilometers per liter fuel efficiency, plus thousands of instant prizes, 10 daily winners of 5k vouchers, 400 daily winners of 100 bob air time. Weka kolabo na shell, shinda fuso FI. Weka kolabo na shell fuels plus shell lubricants, Africa's Oshopata convenience shop. To enter the draw, dial star 384 star 200 hash, enter the code from your voucher and follow the prompts. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> Like F.
every mom, you want the best for your child. Happy birthday. You make sure she knows the joy of sharing happy moments with family. And when everything comes together, you above all others will share the taste of success with her. Blue Bag tastes like mama's love. I see innovation and entrepreneurship thriving. I see young Kenyans remaking the world around them, creating lasting solutions to tomorrow's problems today. And I see women just like me at the heart of this revolution. And while others may see symbols and numbers, these girls see the language of the future. My name is Doka Zowino and I am a co-director at LACAB. Today tastes like a piece of the action. And it never tasted this good. Fashion design is my dream. Yeah. Change your story, dream full steam. Yeah. Yeah. For a brighter path, gotta get to class. Yeah. Stop! Yeah. Gotta change, change my tissue. No more tissue issue. It's gonna be jammy, leaky, smelly. Change your story, not your tissue. With all this green one, get triple protection. One looks leaks, two looks germs, three looks odor, three in one protection. No more tissue, dream for steam From hallway to runway, my future, my glory Let's all change, change our story With always green one protection, available in day and night range Mama yao, angalia mikono yangu na parara Ala, aibugani mwenzangu, kwani umekua kitu na sabuni gani ya unga? Unaitaje sabuni, na laini kwa mikono Unaona ere olimpia, inayayuka haraka Na ni laini kwa mikono yako, huku kiondua madoa sumi Na mikono yangu laini. Na safi. Get fresh, gotta get fresh. Down is a wolf, wolf, wow. Down is a wolf, wolf, wow. Smell fire na ucha fuzi na zibita impu downi. Uprotect guo zangu na nuki anigo safi. Lazima niwe fresh na down is a wolf, wolf, wow. Wolf, wolf, wow. Down is a wolf, wolf, wow. Smell so tender. At the first sign of pain, you need a solution that you can trust to provide effective relief and is gentle on the stomach. Try Panadol Advance for relief from headaches, body aches, and fever. With Panadol's Optizob formula, the tablet gently breaks down in the stomach, quickly absorbs, and starts providing pain relief in 15 minutes. For fast and effective pain relief that you can trust, try Panadol Advance. This has been Medifax for Panadol. The Kenya Film Commission presents the Kalasha International Film and TV Market Virtual Edition. Learn and expand your skills during the workshops and conferences with renowned local and international filmmakers and practitioners. Witness filmmakers battle it out for funding in the virtual pitching competition. Catch everything live on the 5th to the 7th of May from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. sponsored by Safaricom. Robert Kiberenge. Sasa mimi nauliza na nataka waziri ajibu hii swali. E, kama kule nyumbani mashinani kama mtu anataka kuuza shamba na anataka kuuza digitali hivyo vile wame lunch. Watu wa family yake watausikaje, watajuaje kwamba hili shamba linataka kuuzwa. Kwa jina mimi naitwa James Mungai. Itakuwaaje on the line ya identification kama mnataka kujua ni nani anahusishwa na hii vile ladboard ilikuwa ina identify mimi naitwa david oyola sasa mimi nauliza tu waziri maneno za mashamba za urithi amesha fikiria vile anataka kutatua maneno kama haya because hiyo ndio kitu kubwa sana iko kwa roho ya wa Kenya wengi kabisa my name is samuel obiero we see that the system collapsed how is he going to make sure that the traffic visiting that system does not make that system collapse. 
na ndio maswali hayo ya watazamaji na bila shaka wazee tuanze na swali hilo la kiberenge mm. ambaye anauliza <coughs> akitakuuza ardhi na aingie katika mtandao wake wa dijitali familia yake watajuaje maana mm. kuna watu wanauza ardhi kisiri siri mm. kwanza tufahamu hivi salim mtandao tumeuzundua Nairobi the rest of the country 46 counties hizo gatuzi 46 mm -hmm. tutaenda huko e, mheshimiwa rais alipozindua Nairobi wiki iliyopita alisema by december tutakuwa na counties zingine 20 on board mm -hmm. lakini kiberenga akitaka kuuza shamba lake sheria zote ambazo mm -hmm. zina govern mm -hmm. kukuza mashamba zitakuwa bado ziko zote kama ni land control board itabidi aende land control board <coughs> akishamaliza land control board sorry land control board inatoa consent mm -hmm. inakupatia ruhusa ku, ku, kuuza mm -hmm. shamba lako hizo processes zote zipo hatujatoa manake hatujatoa hizo sheria ndio tuende kwa mtandao no. mtandao mwenyewe unatumia sheria so kama ni consent ya land control board lazima utafute mm -hmm. kama ni consent ya spouse lazima utafute mm -hmm. manake niliposema wakati tulizundua platform mm -hmm. hii platform tumejenga kutii sheria mm -hmm. sheria zote ambazo zina govern mm -hmm. usajili wa mashamba mm -hmm. so sheria zote tuta implement bado mm -hmm. waziri kuna kitu ambacho tunakiona kwenye runinga hapa yeah. labda kabla hata kujibu maswali hayo mengine yeah. labda ungependa kutuelezea ni nini hii hasa hiyo ni ramani ya hiyo ni block 112 pale ni runda uh -huh. na tumekuwekea ramani hiyo ni ramani ya Nairobi city county lakini hiyo yellow hiyo ni, ni, ni runda uh -huh. tumekuwekea tu, ili tuweze ku, kuongelea jambo moja uh -huh. Apo awali, kabla ya teknolojia usuvea ku, kuimarika, mm -hmm. tulikuwa tunatumia very pedestrian eh, modes of eh, kupima mashamba. So, tulipokuja kwa umtandawa kijitali, mm -hmm. sasa imekuwa kama exact science, science halisi. Mm -hmm. Manaki te teknolojia ime, imekuwa, imeimarika. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo sasa tunaweza kutel with certainty, mm -hmm. hii shamba lako ni eka tano ama eka mbili ama eka moja. Mm -hmm. With exactness, mm -hmm. ni science halisi. Hapo awali haikuwa hivyo. Sasa tume, tukianza ku, ku, kuweka program kwa, kwa digitali, mm -hmm. tukapatana, tuka tukakumbana na suwala moja. Ile eka rejiko kwa title mm -hmm. ni kama approximation. Tunasema approximately 4.7 something hectares. Mm -hmm. Mtandao huu ni exact. It's an exact science. Mm -hmm. So ukija kwa mtandao, unakuta shamba on the ground. Mm -hmm. Iko exact. Title deed iko na eka rejambai ni approximation. Mm -hmm. Sasa tunasema, tutawaka, tuta, tutafanya, katoshige, tutafanya kazi, na wenye mashamba mm -hmm. ili tuweze sasa ku correct hiyo 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 disparity manake shamba on ground ni exact kwa title it's an approximation mm -hmm. hii platform inachukua exact manake inapima ina calculate mm -hmm. so acreage ya ground ni exact mm -hmm. lakini kwa title ni approximation Ndiyo. sasa tunasema tutachukua the exact land on the ground mm -hmm. kumaanisha title yako pengine kidogo itapitana mm -hmm. kwa mapoint kidogo kidogo na shamba yako kwa ground mm -hmm. lakini hiyo tuta correct tukienda mbele lakini kwa sasa mm -hmm for the purposes of transaction mm -hmm. lazima tuchukue ile surface area iko kwa ground mm -hmm. ndio maana tume project hiyo map ya runda ni kama mfano tu yeah. nataka tu tu malizie malizie maana kinaona yeah. mdo umekwenda sana yeah. so la huyu bwana anasema wale wajane na pia yeah. vile mwingine ameuliza kuhusu systems zilikuwa zime zime collapse pia yeah. mm. pengine ungependa kugusia hilo niliposema awali salim hii system haiwezi kukollapse ile computing power iko hapa nilikwambia inaweza ku run kama Nairobi huko Isili very high computing power <laughs> Ndiyo. Kuna baka power na computing, power hizi kukolapse. Mm -hmm. Hata wa Kenya wote 40 million wakuja hapa, hizi kukolapse. Mm -hmm. So tume, tume, tume test, we've tested the, the, the system properly na tunajua hizi kukolapse. Mm -hmm. Ile shida dukonaya sali, kubwa kabisa, ni ya data. Manake data yetu sisi wa Kenya, mm -hmm. ni watu wa maajabu. Tumefanya ukora mwingi, mpaka data yetu sasa siyo, siyo haina integrity vile. Mm -hmm. So tuki, tukiendelea kuambia wa, wa Kenya wa test platform, tunaona kwamba shamba nyingi ziko na issues ya, ya data mm -hmm. zingine sio complete yani mm haina -hmm. haina document zote nyingine mm -hmm. iko na gaps hapo katikati nyingine haina integrity mm -hmm. na tunasema tuwafanya kazi na wenye mashamba mm -hmm. ili tuweze ku restore the integrity mm -hmm. of that data ndio iwe kwa platform so mm -hmm. platform yenyewe salim mm -hmm. hii ni platform siwezi kuhakikishia mm -hmm. sijui nitakuhakikishia vipi mm -hmm. it is a good platform mm -hmm. ni secure 
na ni imara kabisa haiwezi mm. kuanguka vizuri shida yetu sasa uh -huh. ni ukora yetu sisi wa Kenya umekuwa mwingi sana ha, sana tu tuombe so, Mungu kwamba so Mungu lazima tulainishe kidogo kidogo tushirikiane uh -huh. ili kusudi tuweze ku clean your data and ifanye kazi kwa platform Tutoke lakini kidogo. platform yenyewe iko sawa kabisa tutoke kidogo katika mm. masuala ya ardhi tukimalizia malizia mm. uh, nimeona juzi ukimcongratulate uh, Martha Koome katika Twitter handle yeah, yako Lady Justice yes Ndiyo. Mm. na inavyoonekana wanawake mmeanza kuchukua Uh, mambo katika kasi ya haraka kesho Mwenyezi Mungu akijalia Mama Samia Suluh Hassan Mheshimiwa Rais wa mm. Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania atakuwa hapa nchini. Leo umekaa hapo kama mama katika mm. wizara ambayo wakati mwingi na katika miaka ya uko nyuma ilikuwa inajulikana kama wizara mm. ambayo ilidhibitiwa na wanaume. Uongozi wa wanawake unakupa moyo kwamba kuna mwamko fulani. Lakini kwa nini sasa tunasema tumechukua usukani haraka sana unamaanisha nini? Ah, nasema kasi inaongezeka. Asilimia 50% nusu ya wakenya ni wanawake lakini imekuwa ipo kwa muda mrefu. Kukweli so si, si kweli kusema tumechukua kwa haraka hata tumechelewa. Tunafaa hata tukiwa sekta zote hata hapa kwa newsroom. Kukwe 50% women. Ehe. Kwa kwa cabinet 50% women, parliament 50% women. Mm -hmm. Manake we are 50% of the population. So si dhani ni, ni, ni kweli kusema tumechukua kwa kasi. Mm -hmm. Lakini nataka kuhakikishia Salim wanawake ufanya kazi kwa bidii. Na wanafanya kazi na roho moja. Mm -hmm na wanafanya kazi na hiari moja tu they are determined mm -hmm. and i know wao wanasema sijui kusema kwa Kiswahili women lead in a very special way manake tuko na sixth sense ukiona hapo unajua hapa lazima nikate kona hivi mm -hmm. so first lazima wanawake wakwe kwa meza tukiongea tuwe na wanawake pamoja manake sasa tumesema tume, tume hapo tumechoka kuwa represented sasa mm -hmm. tuji represent mm -hmm. si ndio mm -hmm. tuwe pamoja kwa sekta zote za economy kama ni banking kama ni judiciary kama ni cabinet everywhere mm. kwa hiyo unasema una, una, una kwamba matukio ya Tanzania matukio ya Marekani ya Mama Kamala Harris na nini yeah. eh, na Kenya sasa tunapata jaji mkuu pengine wa kwanza mwanamke ni kitu ambacho kinatia moyo sana na Aha. who knows pengine in future atakuwa na mwanamke president mwanamke president yeah. na kila la heri na kwa kumalizia yeah. tu na hili ni swali la uchokozi baada ya <laughs> baada ya 2022 katika wizara ambayo utakuwa wakati huo ukihudumu tuombe Mungu iwe ni wizara ya ardhi au katika nafasi yote ya serikali mm. una tamaa yoyote au hamu yoyote ya kisiasa la sina iwapo utaondoka serikalini unatarajia kufanya nini hapa Kenya kuna kazi nyingi salim sana mm. niko na ujuzi mi bado ni niko na nguvu bado nitafanya mm. kazi mingi lakini hatutakuona kwa siasa hapana hii siasa ni ngumu bwana Asante sana. Pesa hapo. Pesa mtazamaji na hadi kufikia hapo sina kilichozidi wala kilichopungua kutoka kwenye meza ya kibuda chako. Kwa tunazungumza naye waziri wa ardhi wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Farida Karunei na ametoa mengi sana kuhusiana mfumo mpya wa serikali wa ardhi sasa na tumai kwamba umeweza kunufaika na kufaidika. Ingia katika mtandao huo kama wewe ni mmiliki wa ardhi, jaribisha amesema haiwezi kudukuliwa kama wewe ni haka. Nenda jaribisha bahati tuone kama kweli utaweza kufanikiwa. Mimi ni Salim Swale kwa niaba ya wale wote walioshiriki kufanikisha akigoda chako pamoja na NTV Jioni kwa usiku huu. Nasema asante sana na kutakia usiku mtulivu. Kwa heri.